Hello everybody, just me, nothing else. Just wanted to check in with you today um, and kind of let you guys know what's going on with me. Um, I posted a video yesterday just mentioning that I found out that I had low porosity hair and so of course I have to figure out how to change um, my entire hair routine at this point. So today um, I wanted to, or yesterday I washed my hair and I put the deep conditioner in it. I slept with it overnight. Um, and I decided to try and style it today a little bit differently, starting to um, try to apply some of the rules and tips that I've learned for low porosity here to find out if I got a better result. Um, I decided that I still wanted to use the Kinky Curly Curling Custard to see if I got a better result um, trying to apply it for low porosity hair. You guys, please forgive me. I look really sweaty. I need to rewash my face or something. I look oily. My goodness, that's terrible. So please forgive that. Let me see maybe if I, you know, move this around, <clears throat> that will improve it. So what I did is I rinsed out the deep conditioner, um, and I went ahead and for my leave-in conditioner, I decided to use um, kind of a different deal. Um, I looked at some more YouTube videos. I got some tips on what could be used as a leave-in conditioner. Um, for low porosity hair and one of the um, products that was mentioned quite a few times was the Shea Moisture line um, because of the um, fact that it is a water-based moisturizer. Now their styling products were mentioned to be used as leave-in conditioners because of the um, emollients that they have in them and they're water-based. So I decided to use um, my Curl and Style Milk, the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk for thick and curly hair. Of course, my hair is very thick and it's curly. Um, and it's a nice, you know, milky consistency. Please forgive me. I'm kind of holding the the <laughs> my camera in my lap. And so as I move, it's moving. I'm trying to get the best light and not look shiny for you guys. <laughs> so, um... I decided to use this as opposed to the thicker, creamier product because I, they mentioned that um, milks are very good for low porosity hair because they have a lighter um, texture as far as the oil goes. So this is what I decided to use as my um, leave-in conditioner today. Now I do have to say that when I put it in as a leave-in conditioner, I was really impressed with the slip that I experienced. I was able to finger detangle my hair with no problem using this as my actual um, my actual leave-in. I mean, it worked really good as a leave-in and as a detangler, and it didn't take very much. It coated the hair pretty well. Now, I've tried this as an actual styling product. Not enough hold for my hair whatsoever. Um, my hair, it, it just didn't react. But I think that as a leave-in conditioner, it could be a really good product. Now, I did make sure that I... Um, you know, left the leaving conditioner or the deep conditioner in my hair um, and l allowed it to heat up. And I did use warm or, you know, um, warmer water for rinsing my hair so that I can try and lift my cuticle layer a little bit to allow the moisture to get in when I did go ahead and use the deep conditioner and when I applied this. Now, one other thing I did was once I applied this, I actually put my hair bonnet back on my hair, and I got back under the hooded dryer for another 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, just so that it got warm and it stayed nice and moist underneath there. In my opinion, that just gives another level of um, warmth when you put on the leave-in conditioner to make sure that that leave-in conditioner is also seeping into the hair cuticle. Right after I took off the, um, the plastic cap, um, I just kind of felt around in my hair. I made sure that it was still nice and um, damp, nice and moist. Um, definitely wasn't soaking wet. Any patches that seemed to be um, drier than others, I did add a little bit of extra water to using a water bottle. And I did add a little bit of the Kiki Curly Not Today leave-in conditioner to the water bottle, shook that up and sprayed it um, throughout the hair just to get a little bit of the Kiki Curly Not Today in my hair. But I didn't want to get too much of it. It is not a water-based leave-in. Um, so the only way that I'm going to start using that now is if I add it to water and I'm using it as a mixture because I do understand that water is going to be the most important moisturizer for low porosity hair. Um, but I don't want too much water in that hair strand because I need to allow room for the moisture to get in. Um, 
Right after that, I applied my product. I used the Kiki Curly um, Curling Custard once again. This time I did try and break my hair into sections and actually apply the product to sections. I tried to work on smoothing as well as, um, you know, the finger raking. Um, I did take a comb or, or a brush and, de or, you know, detangle the hair. I should say um, once the product was in there, I went through my hair with the brush, which is what was adjusted for low porosity hair as well just to make sure that you are taking the product and making sure it is evenly distributed throughout your hair. Also with low porosity hair, um, it tends that products that do not seep into the hair shaft for some reason will float along the top and not um, get absorbed into the hair shaft. And so there will be excess product just kind of resting on top of the hair. So the brushing kind of helps to pull that out and distribute it evenly. And whatever else isn't needed to kind of remove that if you, you know, applied too much. Um, but more than anything, it really distributes it evenly and allows you to kind of work it into the hair shaft. Um, I then went back under the hooded dryer just for a little bit of time because it takes so long for my hair to dry that I wanted to add just a tad bit more heat and pull a little bit more of the water out of there. Now I do have to add, after I added my product, I did do the plopping method, um, which I did after I washed my hair as well, where I wrapped my hair in um, a cotton t-shirt because I don't have a microfiber towel yet, but I am going to work on getting one of those um, to pull some of the moisture or some of the water out of the hair so I can get some of the actual emollients into the hair strand and some of the styling product into the hair strand as well. Um, after I applied the product, I also plopped again just to make sure that I took out any excess that might just be sitting on top, floating around on top of the hair strand that didn't actually get absorbed into the hair. So that was my method today. And my hair is pretty much dry. The back is still a little bit damp. Um, to me, what that states is maybe I used a little bit too much product. Once again, I'm still learning how to actually um, apply that product liberally but not you know going overboard considering I do have the low porosity hair um, but the problem is the hair seems like it needs more product because it's so dry and I don't think it's product that I need I think it's moisture that I need and as I continue to learn how to lift my cuticle and get the correct moisture in there I'll see um, a lot of improvement I'm sure when it comes to the frizz that I am experiencing um, I did want to show you guys the result today. Hopefully, you'll be able to see some of the curl definition that I'm experiencing. Now, as we get around to the back, I hope you guys can see that. You'll see that there's a lot more frizz back there. So... You know, obviously, everything that I did, I didn't get as much moisture to that back portion as I did to the top. The top turned out pretty well. The sides are okay, but that back portion just seems to really be struggling today as far as the frizz goes. Now, as it continues to dry, we'll see how that works out. Now, I did go ahead and I added a little bit more of the style milk to the dry hair to make sure that it did soften up the hair and apply another layer of moisture on top of the actual product. Now the Kinky Curly Curling Custard has all natural ingredients in it so that's a wonderful thing as well as the Shea Moisture products have all natural ingredients and I use the Shea Moisture products for my deep conditioner, I use them for my leave-in conditioner, I use the Kinky Curly for my styling aid and I use the Shea Moisture um, milk once again as the moisturizer once I completed my look. I do have to say that the top of my hair seems very shiny my curls are very defined. Um, today they're soft to the touch, but one thing I do have to say about the Kinky Curly is I noticed that um, it is kind of sticky. Now I'm thinking that by tomorrow it won't be as sticky. I did put the um, the milk on there, so I think that stickiness will start to subside. Um, but once again, that could be my fault due to application. Like I said, I might have used a bit too much, thinking that it was more product I needed when really it's just learning how to get moisture into the hair. Once moisture is in that hair shaft, um, I definitely believe that frizz is going to dissipate, and I'm going to have much more um, tameable curls, staying curls. 
But that's it. Just wanted to update you guys on what I did today and let you know how this lasts. I'll keep you updated. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.